good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, an online conference was held headed by President of Western Armenia, Armena Gavraman, Sur Khach of Armenia, Armenian Combat Medal. Nahijavan at the center of negotiations, Armenia should not agree to a deal. A collection of the works by Zaytunti, Sambad Burat, has been published. UN experts visited the territories of Artsakh and the Azerbaijan occupation. In Artsakh, hospitals, schools, kindergartens and temporary houses of displaced people are deprived of the daily living conditions, air a ombudsman. Dakhil Kalak's music school needs renovation. Since January 19, 2022, starting from the Independence Day of Western Armenia, the authorities of Western Armenia have initiated a general report on Western Armenia through several online conferences to warn the Armenian population about the dangers that arose after the last Artsakh war, which in fact are aimed at forcing Armenians to recognize as legitimate what was imposed by the war, destruction and pogroms. On March 10, the first meeting of the online conference headed by President of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahman, took place. Foreign Minister of Western Armenia Lydia Markosyan delivered the opening speech. The conference was dedicated to the 157th anniversary of General Andranik Ozanyan. The details of the conference can be found on our official website. During the invasions of the jihadists in Latakia and participation in operations to liberate the Syrian city of Kesab, President of Western Armenia Armena Gabrahman signed a decree on the reorganization of Armenian Legion and the creation of the Order of Surb Khaj. Recalling that the order was prepared by Armenian veterans to honor conscripted volunteers, the Armenian Legion was formed on February 1, 1919, during the Syrian Cilician invasion. The Armenian Legion fought against the Turks next to the French army. This commemorative medal was withdrawn from circulation at the end of the 20th century and issued by the French authorities to volunteers, with the full material on our official website. The fact that in the text of resolution on the destruction of the cultural heritage of Artsakh, recently adopted by the European Parliament, Azerbaijani barbarism in Artsakh is associated with ethnic cleansing and the cultural genocide of Jevan, indicates that the world continues to consider the area of Armenian people as a whole. Five points of Turkey's ultimatum were published in the media, one of which is the recognition of Azerbaijan with the borders of 1970. These borders include Artsakh Nahijevan as the sovereign territory of the Republic of Azerbaijan and not as a karst treaty protectorate. The Armenian government does not consider the area of Armenian people as an integral unit. The Armenian authorities are not even trying to take steps to follow from the logic of the national state policy. The first and the main step should be the discussion of parliament or package of the documents, including the following. Refusal to recognize the result of the terrorist war of 2020. Recognition of the independence of Artsakh, rejection of the borders defined by the illegitimate Russia-Turkish treaties of 1921, and the requirement to conclude a peace treaty within the framework of the international accepted documents with neighbors. A few days ago, the presentation of the book by the famous Armenian prose writer Sambad Burat was held. The publication of the book was made possible thanks to the efforts of his grandson Haik Burat. Therefore, that four books were published also on the initiative of the Burat family. But the book's editor Sasmi Kaukopian expressed hope that one day there will be a state approach to these important works. Two more books by Sambad Burat will be published in the near future, the originals of which are stored in the Institute of Art and Literature. UN environmental expert visited the territories of Artsakh, occupied by Azerbaijan. According to Azerbaijani media, this was announced on Twitter by the special representative of the president of Azerbaijan, Emin Husseinov. It was specified of what purpose of UN experts visited and what was discussed during the visit. It is only noted that they were presented with the environmental situation in occupied Armenian territories and planned for the actions. Natural Azerbaijan would not have imagined what kind of ecological catastrophe has been spilled on these territories for 44-day war, from phosphorus and burned many types of weapons. Human rights defender of Armenia, Kristina Grigorian, writes, The Azerbaijan side does not allow the representatives of Artsakh to restore the failure of the gas pipeline for about a week. Thus, more than 100,000 people in cold weather condition are deprived of the possibility of heating. As a result, hospitals, schools, kindergartens and temporary houses of displaced people are deprived of basic living condition. In addition, Azerbaijan forces have been intensively shelling the peaceful population of the villages of Artsakh for a week. All this is aimed at expelling Artsakh from its native Armenians. I strongly 
strongly condemn the ongoing criminal policy. I call on international organizations to respond clearly to the situation and increase pressure on Azerbaijan to stop this criminal behavior. Dakh Kalak's music school has not been repaired for many years. The furniture is also very old. At the back of the building, the situation is different. The roof is already collapsing. During the rains and rainfalls, water flows into the water. In 2007, the musical school separated from the Department of Culture and underwent some changes at their own expense. The rooms are very small for classes. There is no normal furniture either. Mayor of Dakh Kalak, Melkon Makarian, answered to the question as follows. Currently, we don't have a project to renovate the musical school. If it's possible to solve the problem with our means, we will take it into account. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.